Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us learn the section 3.3 graphical solution for pair of linear equations from chapter 3 pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the examples 1 to 3 and exercise 3.1 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Section 3.3 from chapter 3 pair of linear equations and two variable is graphical method of solution of a pair of linear equations. Solution for a pair of linear equations can be found out by two methods, either by graphical method or algebraic method. So in today's video, let us learn the graphical method of solution of a pair of linear equations. In previous section, you have already seen how we can graphically represent a pair of linear equation on a graph right only one of the following three possibilities can happen the two lines can either intersect coincide or they can be parallel so in this section we will find out the solution for these lines when they intersect when they coincide and when they are parallel so to find out this let us consider the examples one two and three which i have already done in my previous videos so do watch the videos with introduction part examples and also the exercise problems of 3.1 so let us now consider the example one where we found out how many rides on the joint wheel akila had taken and how many times she had played hoopla so we obtained two equation representing the situation that is x minus 2y is equal to 0 and 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 so using these two equations we obtained the tables and plotted the graph in this manner and here these two equations lines intersected each other at a point 4 comma 2 so therefore as the lines intersect at the point 4 comma 2 so 4 comma 2 forms the solution for the these two given equation so now let us substitute the value 4 comma 2 in the given equation and verify algebraically 4 comma 2 represents x comma y therefore x value is equal to 4 and y value is equal to 2 so substituting in the equation x minus 2y is equal to 0 x value as 4 minus 2 into y as 2 is equal to 0 so 4 minus 2 into 2 is again 4 so here 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 right so left hand side is equal to right hand side therefore the point 4 comma 2 satisfies the given equation and hence it is verified algebraically similarly let us substitute the value of x and y in the equation 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 again 3 into x is what 4 plus 4 into y value is 2 is equal to 20 so 4 into 3 is 12 plus 4 into 2 is 8 so 12 plus 8 is equal to 20 right left hand side is equal to right hand side again we can say that the point 4 comma 2 satisfies the equation 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 so hence 4 comma 2 forms the solution for the two equations x minus 2y equal to 0 and 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 therefore since 4 comma 2 is the only common point on both the lines on the obtained graph therefore it forms the only one unique solution for this pair of linear equation in two variables so here since initially we had assumed in this example x value as the number of rides on the joint wheel and y value as number of times akila plays hoopla thus the number of rides akila had on joint wheel will be equal to 4 and the number of times she played hoopla is equal to y that is nothing but 2 okay so this is how we obtain the solution for example number 1 now similarly let us consider the situation in example 2 where we had to find out the cost of each pencil and each eraser here again we had assumed the cost of pencil to be x rupees and the cost of eraser to be y rupees so we obtain equations from the situations given as 2x plus 3y is equal to 9 and 4x plus 6y is equal to 18. So this was the graph which we obtained after plotting the points on the graph. Here we obtained the points in such a way that the lines from both the equations overlap one above the other or it coincided. So therefore here in this situation since all the points lie on the same line from both the equations that is 2x plus 3y equal to 9 and 4x plus 6y is equal to 18. Therefore we obtain here infinite number of solution. Here also we can say that 
that the equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 9 is an equivalent to 4x plus 6y is equal to 18. So let us prove that. So if you divide this equation by 2, divide this whole equation by 2, you get 2x plus what is 6y by 2, you get 3y is equal to 18 by 2 is 9. This is equal to the equation number 1 that is 2x plus 3y is equal to 9, right? So here we can say that both the equations are equivalent to each other and from the graph we see that any point on the line gives us a possible solution for these two equations. So for example, let us consider one point from the lines that is 3 comma 1. Here x value will be equal to 3 and y value is equal to 1. So let us substitute this x equal to 3 and y equal to 1 into x plus 3y is equal to 9. So substituting we get 2 into x is 3 plus 3 into y value is 1. So here 3 twos are 6 plus 3 into 1 is 3. So 6 plus 3 is equal to 9, right? So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So the point 3 comma 1 satisfies the equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 9 and hence we can verify this algebraically. So likewise if you consider any point on the line that point will satisfy the equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 9. Therefore here we can say that since all the points satisfies the equation the cost of pencil can be rupees 3 and cost of eraser can be rupee 1 or if you consider the point 1.5 comma 2 the cost of again here pencil can be 1.5 and the cost of eraser can also be 2 rupees and so on. So any point on this line will, will become the solution for the given pair of linear equations. Therefore, in this situation when both the lines of the two equation overlap each other, we obtain infinite number of solutions. That is both the equations are equivalent from the graph. We see that any point on the line gives us a possible cost of each pencil and eraser. So this is how we obtain the solution when the two lines coincide or overlap each other. So next type of situation is if you consider example 3 where we had to find out whether the two rails cross each other. So these are the two equations which we obtained from the example 3 situation which was given that is x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 and 2x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. Using these equations we plotted the graph and we obtained the graph in this manner where two lines of the two equations were parallel to each other and they were not coinciding at any point. Even if you extend these lines further, they do not coincide. So since the lines do not intersect or coincide, therefore there is no common point between both the lines. Therefore we say that the equations have no common solutions. So whenever the lines are parallel, we do not obtain any solutions for such kind of pair of linear equations. So now let us summarize the behavior of lines representing a pair of linear equations in two variables and the existing of solutions as follows. So here the lines may intersect in a single point. In this case, the pair of linear equation has a unique solution. Whenever the lines intersect, you will obtain a unique solution for such kind of linear equations and they are also called as consistent pair of equation. Similarly, when the lines may be parallel, in this case, the equations have no solution. There is no solution because the lines are not intersecting at all. They are parallel to each other. In such cases, we say that the pair of linear equations are inconsistent. And the third category is when the lines may coincide or overlap each other. In this case, the equations have infinitely many solutions. All the points on the lines obtained will be solution. So therefore, here we can say that they are dependent and consistent pair of equations. Whenever you obtain a solution, we call it as consistent. When the lines intersect, also we say they are consistent pair of equations. And when they are coincident, we say consistent pair of equations. When they are parallel and there is no solution at all, we say inconsistent pair of equations. So here in case of when the lines coincide, since they have n number of solutions, that is infinitely many solutions, therefore we say that they are dependent pair of equations, right? So this is the whole summary for solution for a pair of linear equations which you can obtain. The general form of pair of linear equation in two variables x and y is given by a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 where a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2 are the real numbers in the two given linear equations. 
okay this we have already discussed in our previous videos so now using these coefficients a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 we can also determine whether given two equations have a solution that is whether they intersect they are parallel or they are coincident when they are plotted on the graph so, so this is a table given considering the three example which we saw earlier so here if you observe you have to take the ratios of a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 and compare if the ratio a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by v2 the lines will be intersecting graphically and hence they will have a unique solution so from example 1 let us check that equations given here are x minus 2y equal to 0 and 3x plus 4y minus 20 equal to 0 so here a1 value is 1 b1 is equal to minus 2 and c1 is 0 similarly a2 value is 3 b2 is equal to 4 and c2 is equal to minus 20 now let us check the ratios here so a1 by a2 is equal to 1 by 3 and b1 by b2 is equal to minus 2 by 4 so if you cancel you get minus 1 by 2 so here if you observe a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 right a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 so in such condition the two lines will be intersecting each other and hence we will obtain a common point at the intersection and a unique solution right so this is how we can find out algebraically whether the two lines are coinciding intersecting or if they are parallel similarly if you observe from the example 2 here the ratio a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and that is equal to c1 by c2 when this condition happens then the lines will be coincident and since the lines are coincident we can obtain infinite number of solutions right let me show you here from example 2 we have the equation 2x plus 3y minus 9 equal to 0 and 4x plus 6y minus 18 equal to 0 so here we obtain the coefficients a1 value is 2 b1 is 3 and c1 is equal to minus 9 and similarly a2 is 4 b2 is 6 and c2 is equal to minus 80 a1 by a2 is equal to 2 by 4 that is again 1 by 2 after cancelling then b1 by b2 is here 3 by 6 again it is 1 by 2 after cancellation then c1 by c2 is minus 9 by minus 18 so minus and minus will get cancelled and we obtain 9 1 times 9 2 times so again it is 1 by 2 so here we observe that all the ratios are equal that is 1 by 2 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 so a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and that is equal to c1 by c2 so therefore here in such situation the lines will be coincident and we can obtain the infinite number of solution for such lines similarly example 3 a1 by a is equal to b1 by b2 but that is not equal to c1 by c2 in such situation the lines will be parallel so let us find out so if you consider example number 3 equations that is x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 and 2x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0 here the a1 value is 1 b1 is 2 and c1 is equal to minus 4 similarly a2 is 2 b2 is 4 and c2 is equal to minus 12 so let us find out a1 by a2 is equal to 1 by 2 b1 by b2 is 2 by 4 which is again 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 is equal to minus 4 by minus 12 so minus and minus will get cancelled and we will be left with 4 1 times and 4 3 times so here you observe that a1 by a2 are equal but it is not equal to c1 by c2 which is 1 by 3 right so a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 that is not equal to c1 by c2 so therefore in such situation we can say that the lines are parallel to each other and therefore we have no solution for such kinds of pair of linear equations so this is how we obtain the solution of the given two pair of linear equation algebraically okay so this is the table given where 
you have to know which ratios you have to compare to determine whether the lines are intersecting coinciding or they are parallel to each other so summarizing again the lines will be intersecting when the ratio a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 similarly the lines will be coincident when a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 and that is equal to c1 by c2 and when the lines will be parallel the lines will be parallel when a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and that will not be equal to c1 by c2 so this is how we can find whether the lines are intersecting they are coincident or if they are parallel to each other so hopefully you have understood the introduction part in my next video i'll be solving example 4 from chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc ncert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of equations in two variables shown on the screen thank you